Hey YouTube, Tube. today I got a more interesting uh, deck that I haven't really tried to post these type of decks. This is more like a fun, weird deck that I decided to build uh, because of this card, uh, Cheerful, Cheerfully Atoll Olivia. Um, so this is an interesting card when I read it. Um, it was it's, it reminded me of the Stride unit that came out in the first Gear Chronicle Trial deck. Um, so I decided to try to build this deck to see if this is the right way to build it, and surprisingly, it, it worked really well. Um, so we'll go over the card choices and then we'll explain like the reasoning behind it But essentially the way this deck is supposed to be played is you want to try to run a very very diverse Card lineup so you don't want to have a lot of like four ofs and three ofs of certain cards in the deck um, So I decided to just this deck is also really good to showcase a bunch of Bermuda Triangle artwork um, because all those cards that like you you run a lot of the cards, but then like some of them in here, you almost never see those cards ever. Um, so this deck kind of like showcases those, and it works surprisingly well. I play tested against duos, uh, Pacifica, the Loris Harmony Prisms, all that stuff, Ranger, and this deck did surprisingly well against a lot of them. And seeing the on strike skill go off was hilarious. Um, so anyway, start off four cheerful Etoll Olivia. So one key indication here, this is the only card in the in the whole deck that I run four copies of. Every other card is either a one of or a two of. No threes, no fours, except for this card. This is the only card that's at four. Because I wanna the only reason why I do that is because I want to ride this card as the main vanguard to ensure that I can do the play style uh, with the onstride skill. So uh four Olivia, essentially what happens is when you stride her. <clears throat> You reveal the top seven, or you start on top of her. You reveal the top seven of the deck, um, and if all the cards revealed are like all different cards, like different names, uh, you get to call one of them. I think yeah, you call one, or no, you call two. Yeah, you call two of them, and then you take one from the hand and put it in the soul. So uh, it kind of like. It makes you stride for free because what happens is you discard one to stride assuming you discard a three or a stride enabler um, to stride so you minus one to stride then you reveal seven then you call two so now you're at plus one then you take one card from the hand and put in the soul so you're back to uh, like break even so you literally strode for free compared to most that are like discarding one and then they're like kind of just gaining two and, and here you'll triple drive so you'll gain three um, so, really, really good if you can pull the skill off. It's literally plus one um, compared to a typical stride, which is literally just plus two because you discard one to stride and then you get triple drive, so you're back at two. So, yeah, this is free plus one if you can pull it off. So, in order to make it work effectively, you really got to run, like, one of everything. So, for the grade three lineup, I am running uh, one of every, like, random grade three. So, I have my one Spica that I pulled, Sparkle in Her Heart Spica. Um, she's pretty good backup. One skillful performer Minori. Um, she is surprisingly good on rear guard circle, making 21k columns all day long. Uh, Himnara, Himnari, uh, haven't really used her that much. She also has Vanguard or rear guard skill. And uh, one Fantine. One thing to note: I highly recommend running cards that have rear guard and Vanguard effects, which all of these cards do. So if you're forced to ride one of these, it's not the end of the world. And you'll still be able to do your big stride plays and do your stride effects. Um, so yeah, that's the grade three lineup. It's pretty hilarious. Grade twos, two dreaming step Shizuku. So two of her because I max uh, at two for this deck, no more than two. So you reduce the likelihood of the on strike skill failing. Um, she's pretty good at just like uh, searching out um, its hole, not its hole. Yeah, its hole. So basically, when she's when this unit attacks the vanguard, you may discard a grade 3, and then you can get a grade 3. So you can essentially like rush, there's no GB restriction on this card, and it has vanguard or regard effect. Uh, so it's pretty nice, and it has harmony as well. So perfect, good for this. Both of these cards, by the way, came out in the supply set, along with the mirror that I showcased in my previous video, uh, which was this card. And the nice thing is they give you a play set of eat all three of them. So it makes makes building these decks really easy. Next, two, Brilliant Ocean Ellie. Um, so just two, because it's just 
it's whatever. I mean, it's pretty good uh, with harmony skill being there, and then it becomes 2k or 11k for each sentinel. It gets 2,000 more. So if you have like two sentinels in the drop zone, she gets four, and so forth. Next, one prestige Sedia. I pulled one of these triple R, so it's like it has harmony. I'm just gonna run it in here anyway. It doesn't matter. One Spica, she's really good. One Emilia, she has resist, really good. Uh, one of this new Senna, another defensive card, AK. Just kind of one to showcase her. You can probably run another 9K card. Um, one Sanya, you could potentially run two Sanya. Sanya is actually quite good. She's your 12K if she's in harmony. And then one Vita, magical charge. Uh, she's pretty good as well. New card that came out. And then one Wakana, another one with Soul Blast. Thing is, a lot of these have Soul Blast, so don't want to run too many of them. So that's why I'm saying, like, maybe run, if you don't want to run this card, because a lot of people don't like 8K and they don't like the defensive cards. Um, so yeah, Ellie's also sort of, can potentially be a superior intercept as well. So she's kind of redundant, so maybe another Sana would be better. So anyway, that's a great two lineup. Really, really random, I know, but it works. If you want that on skill and that free plus one. And it also teaches you how to play the clan really well, because you have to learn combos on the fly. So for the Sentinels, it's just like one of every different Sentinel. It doesn't really matter if you want, like I would recommend probably running um, at least this Harmony one at one copy. Maybe two of this would be good. And like, I guess two of this and maybe these guys, because these I like, they can block Rearguard. Different names, whatever. So this is like the very first Sentinel. This is the Prism Duo Sentinel, which is just a generic Sentinel, just like Ellie. This has Harmony. This thing, at one copy, is kind of lousy because you'll never be able to do the unflip. Um, so you could do like two of the Harmony and two of this if you want to go that route. But I just wanted to maximize efficiency or like the consistency of the on strike skill. So I just want one of each. It also kind of showcases how much, how far Bermuda's come. Next, two stride enabler, uh, because it's really good. So that way, you can potentially use one of your grade threes uh, as a rear guard fighter. Two Yuka uh, in the back row. She gives everything in the same rows, not including her, like plus 1k more. Two Anya. I like this card. Uh, it can also work really well with when you like bounce stuff. She essentially can distribute harmony. Um, so yeah, and two, Manya, this is your 10k effective booster, so the funny thing is when there's like two of these in the back with a Yuka, Yuka's making them 11. One Shizuku, uh, really nice to go in harmony on GB1 and search out great threes for striding. One Pumo, she works really good in here because this is a, like a one of deck essentially. So one of her is good, and that's the great one lineup. Um, for changes, probably like drop Yuka altogether and run maybe a different thing, but I don't know. Yeah, she could potentially if I had three, but I wouldn't run three. Well, anyway, whatever it doesn't really matter. For the trigger lineup, four stands, all different stands. A lot of people probably don't even remember this one. This is from the set that the Prisms and Coral came out in. Uh, EB06, and then this one came out with red and and mirror in the duos. So this is prism. Oh no, actually no. Both of these came out in set six. So these these came out with prisms, and then yeah, and then the new one has harmony. These two have harmony. You can actually use this. It doesn't require you to have a prism vanguard. So when it's bounced, you can solve last one, give something 4k, and then this is just generic. Call it down to hit another number at the end of the game. Just desperate plays like that, it works. Then, uh, eight criticals, they're all different artwork, all different cards. So, uh, the duo, one of the duos, uh, one of the ones that came with Harmony, the new one, old Shuplu from Banquet of Divas, way back, came out with Reindeer and Pacifica and Riviere. And then, Rana, you can surprisingly use this because I do have the Loras Stride Unit, so it's in here. Uh, then the other duo critical, the Prism critical, the other card that came out with Prisms, 
And then for the heels, again, four different heels. So we have the duo heel. We have flows, the original heel. We have the prism heel. The heel from last year. So yeah, and the starter I'm running is Meruru. She's got harmony and she works relatively good. I'm just testing her out right now. So anyway, that's the main deck. It's really random, I know, but it works. Trust me when I say it works. But it is contingent on you having four Olivia, like the school it told Olivia. So lucky for me, I pulled my two. <laughs> With only just like four boxes, I pulled these. So yeah, so four Olivia. You gotta run four if you want to actually make the deck. So the deck is relatively easy to build. The main deck is just literally like random hodgepodge cards that do stuff. Essentially try to pick like the better ones, obviously. Um, but Olivia really needs this because Dawn Stride skill only applies when you stride into this. So it's very much like Diablo, Blaster Dark Diablo. Um, so yeah, but really good card. Can win games, get extra attacks. And the funny thing is this works so well with this deck because you'll always have diverse... Uh, rear guards, and then you will like proc so many different <laughs> rear guard skills. It's hilarious. It kind of overwhelms the opponent. Um, and because it does have quite a bit of harmony, you can use Loris. So I pulled my two Loris. Lucky for me. Although um, it's kind of rare, so one may be enough. Um, but two is good. I mean, I, that's the reason why, like I said earlier, we run this. Uh, and then for the rest, it's kind of like the main Bermuda stuff plus Blizza. So I think Blizza's just still really good in here. Because he, 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 you stride him in the end of the game. Like when you have, I don't know, all four of these are face up. One of these are face up, whatever. So he'll get you like six face up or more. Really, really good at just closing out games. Making the opponent, by that time, if the opponent doesn't have perfect guard, they, they lose basically. One Alprina, really, really nice to send stuff up. Also Amora does the same thing, but it's on stride. Somni, get extra attacks potentially, and reactivate harmony. Um, Frederica, because deck's pretty harmony based, so she's the new rare that they got. And then the rest are all like G Guardians. So one Leona, one Desmol, one Scryu, and two Nasha. So, anyway, guys, that was my. Uh, duo, not duo, uh, my Olivia deck. So let me know what you think of the Olivia deck. Do you think it can be really good and make a splash? Or do you think it's just kind of like a for fun to play deck? So anyway, looking forward to seeing comments on this deck. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.